Urban Outfitters. We've all heard of them. We've all seen them at the mall. We've all gone in trying to get a cute outfit. So, you know, you look around, find some stuff you like, maybe try something on, everything's going good, and then boom. Your eyes turn to the price tag, you get chills down your spine. Well, I got you, girl. My goal with this video is to show you how you can achieve these looks by using clothing from only your local thrift store. But first, let me get out of bed. For today's video, I'm going to be doing another thrift flip. This one's gonna be a little different from the other ones I've done in the past. Usually, I'll go off my own ideas completely and have no inspiration from other brands, but I'm gonna be getting inspiration from the wonderful, the amazing Urban Outfitters. As you all know, Urban Outfitters can be pricey. I'm gonna show you guys today how you can get Urban Outfitted up from your thrift store. A lot of these thrift flips are gonna be easy too. I'm not gonna have any sewing. If it is, it's gonna be hand sewn. So if you don't know how to do their flips this is probably the best one for you i'm also going to give away some of the stuff i make because i have way too many clothes so if you're interested make sure to stick around now let's go check out their website so i can get an overall feel of their clothing and take inspiration from them as you can see this is their urban outfitters website they have a lot of clothing and this is me i have a green screen now they have a lot of cute stuff pretty pricey like uh, this 79 dollars dress don't understand why just out of curiosity i want to see what their most expensive items are and the highest thing that they have on here is 800 dollars. 800 for a jacket that you can get for like 30 dollars at a thrift store because spring is basically here and summer will be coming around i'm gonna do a lot of spring kind of outfits and once i figure out what exactly i want to recreate then i'll show you guys so after looking at the urban outfitters website i have gathered my thoughts and here are my ideas so i want to do a tie-dye hoodie and a tie-dye tank top and i want to crop both of them and probably for the hoodie i'm thinking of doing like a monochromatic orange tie-dye kind of thing and then for a tank top probably go a little crazy and do it a bit more colorful but here's the thing i've never done tie-dye i don't know if this is gonna go well i might end up ruining it and then for the next idea i want to do jeans urban outfitters has so many cute jeans but of all the jeans i saw in urban outfitters i really liked these two ideas I'm not really sure which one exactly I want to do, so once I'm at the thrift store, I'll decide what looks good. So make sure you stick around to see what I find at the thrift store. And then to spice up this thrift flip a little bit, I'm going to do some tapestries. Because out of all the thrift flips that I've done so far, it's never been anything for my room. So this will be my first time doing something like that. Especially because Urban Outfitters has so many tapestries. And they're all really cute, and I feel like I could easily do something like that. But we'll see. outside of the thrift store right now the goal is to find things that are out of my comfort zone because i've had the style for like over two years now and i want to try something different so i'm gonna go outside of my comfort zone and i think that will open my eyes to things i usually don't look for since i constantly look for like pastel things so i feel like if i don't look for just that specifically i'll probably see things i usually don't notice so i'm really excited to see what i find also before this aesthetic i was the type of person to change my style like literally every year like when i was 12 years old I went through an emo phase after that I had like a k-pop phase and um I don't even want to talk about that. So I'm going to try to look for things that are a little bit out of my style so I can um, experiment and see what looks good on me. Let's go thrifting. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. With Skillshare, you can explore new skills, develop interests you have, and get lost in creativity. I've been taking a course called Happy House Plants by Chris Satch. I love how simple the course is and I've been learning a lot about the benefits of the houseplants that I have. If you're uncertain about what's next, creative challenges and productivity classes can help you structure your time and set up achievable goals. There's classes for drawing, writing, and journaling, which can be a great way to manage stress, practice mindfulness, and feel connected to one another. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. You can communicate and be inspired by a community of supportive and encouraging fellow creatives. So whether you're looking to get rid of boredom, focusing on self-care through creativity, or looking to join a creative community, Skillshare is a place to keep you learning. Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first 1,000 people who click the link in the description, and after that, it's only around $10 a month. Now back to the video. Hey guys, so this is me going to the thrift store. I was super excited to see what they had. By the looks of it, they had a lot of cute stuff. I was really enjoying myself, having a blast, looking through clothing, and then this worker at Goodwill came up to me 
and basically uh, she kicked me out. But it wasn't a problem, I just went to another Goodwill. Hi guys, so I'm at the new thrift store now because as you know, I got kicked out of the other one. But it's okay because I will make this work. Oh my god, look at this. My phone battery moves. I'm on 59%. <laughs> that is my mood. <laughs> Found this simple tank top. Uh, I think this will work for this tie-dye shirt. This is my shopping cart. It's very tiny, as you can see. I saw some denim jackets here. I'm gonna try to see if I could find something. It's not bad. It's kind of cute, actually. I've never really tried anything on like this, but doesn't hurt to try. I think I'll add it to the cart. One of the thrift flip ideas I have is to do the jeans, like I showed you guys earlier. Right now, I'm looking for some jeans. Probably gonna try on a few jeans, though, because a lot of jeans have a very weird fit on me. I have a weird body shape, because I'm kind of short. <laughs> I'm 5'2", if you're wondering. This is so cute. It might be too short, but I'm gonna see. I might get it, because it looks like you could adjust the waist, and usually for skirts, the waist is too big on me, so. Here's a thrifting tip for all of you thrifters. I recommend you go to the boy section, or the men's section if you want baggy pants like mom jeans or skater jeans see look how cute these look oh my god i love them so i just found this really cute piece of fabric i really like it because at the corner it has little flowers and i feel like this would be perfect for my tapestry ideas i think i'm gonna get this and hopefully fabric paint holds well on this i'm not sure how it'll go but we'll see so i'm in the random section of the thrift store right now i found a bunch of dvds they're giving me total nostalgic vibes oh my god like uh, the little rascals i used to watch this movie all the time I'm literally like every single day. I think this is what made me into the fairy stuff because I used to love this movie. This is so cute. It's only a dollar. Also, if you didn't notice, it's handmade in the Philippines. Put this green sweater in my cart thinking it was gonna look really cute, but then I tried it on and I felt like the Grinch. Then I tried on this long sleeve and I ended up really liking it, so I just got it for fun. Here's me showing you guys a tank top. I decided to tie dye. I also got it in another color. Love this skirt so much that I also just got it for fun. I won't be doing anything to it. I just think it's really cute on me. And here are some boy jeans that looked pretty good on me, but they weren't the look I was going for, so I found cuter ones after, which I'll show you guys in a bit. I'm about to check out this is everything that I have. I'm gonna check out and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I'm really excited to show you. I got really cute things. Clothing haul time. Before I go to the craft store, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got for the thrift flip and how much each thing was. So the first thing that I got that was the most expensive from the thrift store was this denim jacket. And usually jackets are the most expensive out of everything, so not a big deal. But the price was pretty good. I got this jacket for only $7.99 and it's in great condition. Nothing wrong with it really. And now for the next two items, they're basically the same tank tops but in different colors so I thought it'd be fun to tie-dye both of them. Here's what they look like. We got a pink version and then we have a white version and originally I was just gonna give away one item from this thrift flip. I thought it'd be really cool to just give away both of these. If you're interested in winning one of these make sure to comment that you're interested and to subscribe to my channel and I'll send it out to one of you. Then for the next thing I got a sweatshirt and I'm not really sure if it's green or black. It looks black on camera but in person it has a green tint to it. Let me know what you guys see. I kind of see green from the boy section, I actually found some really cute jeans and I'm really excited to show you guys these. And they're size 12 Husky and um, they actually fit me a tiny bit big, but what's cool about these jeans is that they have an adjustable waist as you can see right here. And then another thing that I love about these jeans is the bottom of it. They're pretty wide and I don't really have any other jeans like this. When I found these, I was really excited and I love how they look on me. The last thing that I got for my thrift flip is these two pieces of fabrics. I think they're meant for like tablecloth or something like that. They're only 98 cents. Two of these for 98 cents. That is such a good deal. I'm about to go to the arts and crafts store right now and then once I'm done getting everything that I need, I'm gonna try everything on for you guys and tell you guys exactly what I'm gonna do to them. So let's go to the store. now this is my first time being here it is so big i had no idea that i looked this hard sorry about that guys let's not pay attention to it i came here because beverly's sadly closed down last month but it's okay because joanne's is huge like they have everything literally everything that you need to do thrift flips i'm really excited to see what i find let's go do some shopping so we're in the tie-dye section right now they have a whole thing dedicated to it that is crazy so let's see what colors i want i know i want one to be monochromatic we're trying to be the cheaper version of urban outfitters basically so for the pink tank top i want to do monochromatic orange on it because i feel like if you do colorful on the pink i feel like it's gonna look 
muddy and kind of gross. And then for the white one, I'm gonna do colorful. And I'm deciding between a few colors. I saw this one and I liked it, but then I came across this one. And this one's actually nicer, I think. They close at nine. Fabric paint is like regular, right? So I'm gonna get this for my jeans and also probably gonna use it for my tapestry. And then I'm gonna get more because I want one of them to be a different color. This is gonna be exciting. I'm trying to decide which one would go better on my sweater. Comment below which one looks better. I think I'm gonna go with this color. So I'm in a rush right now because we're closing in 20 minutes, guys. 20 minutes. I'm very indecisive, so I don't even know if I'll be able to choose the fabric pattern for my denim jacket. She's going so freaking fast. Hold up. Wait up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, stop recording. <laughs> I have a mental breakdown to do it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I think we're gonna have to come back tomorrow. I decided on this fabric for the sweater. I think I made the right choice. Alrighty. Now I'm gonna start flipping my clothing tomorrow. Today was such a busy day. I woke up so early, like at 8 a.m. and it's currently, what, like 9 p.m.? I was out all day thrifting. We got everything that we need. I'm gonna be thrift flipping my things tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Hi, it is now the next day. Before I get into doing my thrift flips, I wanna show you guys what every item looks like on me and what I plan to do to every single thing. So let's try this stuff on. So this is what the pink tank top looks like on me, and here is what the white one looks like on me. And basically what I'm gonna do to the pink one is that I'm a tie-dye orange. Here's the tie-dye thing. And it's gonna be kind of like a monochromatic pink and orange type of thing. And then for the white one, I'm gonna use these tie-dye colors right here. This one's gonna be more colorful. And then once I'm done with both of them, I'm probably gonna crop them. And I feel like these tank tops are perfect for spring and summer. So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna come out. So this one's a little funky. I don't really know how to describe it really. It's a denim jacket. I see potential in it. I feel like it could be cute if I cropped it and then put fabric inside of it on each side side like how urban outfitters did and this is a fabric that i ended up getting at johan's you can see up close it's like little roses i think this is gonna go really well together here's what the black crew neck looks like on me basically all that i'm gonna do to this is embroider something onto it like this urban outfitters crew neck and this is what the jeans look like on me pretty cute So this is what the jeans look like on me. As you can see towards the bottom, they're a little bit wider, which I absolutely love. All that I really wanna to do to the jeans that I'm wearing is doodle on them, something like this, like Urban Outfitters, and maybe put in a few slits here and there. Not sure yet about that. So the first thrift flip that I'm going to be doing is the tie-dye. You'll need some kind of blank t-shirt, then you'll need tie-dye colors, which you could get from Joanne, like how I did. And then you'll need rubber bands, and usually if you get it from a store, it comes as a kit at ready, and then that's all you really need. So now the next step will be to go outside because I don't want to get dyed on my blankets or anywhere in my house. Let's go outside. Here I am setting up the tie-dye. I'm just twirling it and then putting rubber bands around it. I decided to use these colors on it because I wanted it to be pastel and colorful. Here I am putting it in a bag after and then for this one I wanted to do a different design. So I scrunched it up and put dye random places and then put it away and I have to wait a few hours then wash it out and that is all. First thing I did for this jacket is measure it because I wanted to crop it. So here I am measuring it then I'm cutting it off, pinning it where I want it to be so it can have a clean cut. After that I'm taping it closed so it stays that way and that's how it came out really cute and now i'm just cutting the fabric that i chose and i'll be taping it in on the inside and this is how it turned out it's so cute i love it next thing that i'm doing is painting on my tapestry with the fabric dye that i got uh this took forever so here's a time lapse of it came out really cute though i feel like it'll fit my room perfectly so i'm really happy about how it came out for the next tapestry i put in fabric dye into the water and then i dyed it a pastel pink because I wanted it to be a different color. Then I decided to draw a froggy chair on it from Animal Crossing because my Discord was begging me to do it. Uh, honestly, it came out pretty cute, even though he's a little thick, but that's okay. For the sweater, I went ahead and sketched what I wanted onto it, and then after that, I went on with embroidering. It took a while, but I feel like it's worth it in the end because look how cute it came out. I really like the saying that I chose. I feel like it made the sweatshirt a hundred times cuter. After that, I wanted my denim jeans to match the sweatshirt that I made, so I went ahead and painted some daisies on them. Honestly, this was the easiest one out of all of them, so if you want to do any of these thrift flips, I would recommend this one because it took like no effort at all.
that's all for this thrift flip. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you go. And if you're interested in winning one of the tie-dye shirts, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. See you next time. Bye. Before you guys go, look what I got. I got my 100K plaque. Oh my gosh. This is our plaque now. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I really appreciate it so much. Can't wait to put this on my wall. Bye. If you didn't like my video, I'm so sorry. Hit subscribe. Join Faye Army. If you didn't like my video, why don't you like it? I'm so sorry. Not really. Hit subscribe. Hit that button. Join Faye Army. Just join it, bitch.